just like deep gladiator overlandy like as overland as it gets man like it's gonna be next level like it's just it sounds fucking so yeah oh hey how you guys doing how's it going well i guess since you're here we should probably do an update on brian he's approaching five years on the road as a nomad yep all in this truck the toyota tacoma short bed now that's 2005 i've got 306,000 miles on it crazy so let's dive into some details you've done a lot of changes since last time yeah i've got a fridge now and uh Ripped little out my back seats yeah. yeah got solar yeah uh oh installed a home theater system in the in the topper yeah. Dro a drop down home theater system it's a badass that's awesome yeah, let's go check it out What's up, buddy? What's going on, dude? How you doing? Oh, good. Glad to be here. That road was gnarly at the base. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a great campsite. Yeah, dude. It's sweet. We got a cool view up there, too. Oh, badass. Yeah. So squeeze in wherever you like. Nice. Right. I remember in the other video, like when I opened my when I opened the door like this and we looked across the way, there was all this crap in my front seat. <laughs> and all, now all I have is my backpack. So the backpack's ready to go. It usually has all my gear in it that I need for to go on a backpack. I just throw my tent and a sleeping bag in there. And then I've got the Jackery right here, which is powering the fridge and everything else. So that just sits up front here, and then I have every, it's a lot of, a lot of free room. So if I need somebody to roll with me, I can just take that, put in the back of the topper real quick, or the back seat, and the whole front seat is cleared up. So that's, that's a huge space issue that I addressed. And the way I addressed that was, and the back seats here, I ripped out all the back seats of the Tacoma. And so nice. this is just a prototype at the moment. I'm gonna make a better one when I go back to Kansas for the holidays. But essentially all the seats are gone, all that storage now. This is where the seats used to sit. This is where uh, they're actually just a tad bit lower. But all this stuff underneath here, like this has my cast iron skillets, got some backpacking meals. I've got some more of my cooking stuff. So that's about one third of the size underneath there. And then on the other side, that's where I, I put underneath there, I put all my dirty clothes. So there's like a, a dirty clothes hamper. Nice. So all that stuff's out of the way. End up going with the Dometic. This is uh, the smallest one that they have, but it, it holds about $150 worth of groceries in there. I do asparagus and bacon and I mean, you name it, it's all good. So uh, this thing is awesome. It only pulls maximum 0.7 amps an hour. So the battery draws nothing. And then what I'm wanting to do is when I go back to Kansas and I redo this, I'm gonna get rid of this and put a different one in here. I wanna have a table that slides out like this and locks into place. And that way I can use this as a oh, cooking area. Wow, that and would then, be really cool. Yeah, and then grab my stuff from underneath and pull it up and I could put a stove right here, you know, like my two burner Coleman stove, the, small, the smaller one. And my whole goal is to be micro, so that way I can just go anywhere. Because like, I compromise comfort for convenience, and my convenience and what I think is convenient is being out away from everybody and just kind of having the place to yourself. Mm -hmm. So that way you sleep great, there's no one messing with you at night, and I can get to places that are usually hard to reach, which means there's less human activity and there's less trace of human activity and you feel more you know, like you're in nature and stuff like that. So that would be really cool. I've actually never thought of that. That that looks like a yeah. Because it could be easy. You could just have it just. You could have it on a swivel mount right here, mm -hmm. and it could just be like a, pie, a piece of pie that comes out just wow, in front of it. You know, of pie. <laughs> I, I like pie. Um, <laughs> and have it come out, lock into place, and then it'll hold this door open. Because one thing that's bad about the Tacomas is after a while, that little stopper that keeps the door open just gives out. Everybody mm -hmm. has it in the second gens if they have them for long enough. So yeah, so nice. that's there. I've got a little blanket for Sierra. I've got my waders down here for fly fishing, some propane, the uh, workout bands, which I'm gonna start using a lot more now. And uh, yeah, so that's in there. And then the, my cooking oil's right here. I've got uh, locally sourced honey from Crested Butte, which I use on stuff. That's really great for coating Nice, your this is really turning into your kitchen. Yeah, totally. I love it. And then like seasons are right here. So I've got the Cholula sauce, uh, I've got my, um, <laughs> Got like my black beans that I'm gonna cook up, black beans and rice, and I've got some Pam if I need to use that. I never really do though, because I Look use at the seat back. Yeah, that's so I, great. And then and then the divider for the fridge. Oh, another thing about the fridge, which is pretty dope, so you can get this all the way down to seven degrees. All right, 
Or no, negative seven, I think is what mm -hmm. it is. But what you can do is you can put it at like 30 degrees, put all of your items in the bottom that you want to stay frozen. If they go in, they're frozen. They'll stay that way if you put a piece of cardboard over it that holds all that cold air down, and then put your other grocery items on top of it that don't want to be frozen, and you're good to go. Wow. So, yeah, it'll stay frozen. I've actually, the top part won't. Yeah, I've never heard of that. That's a good tip. <laughs> it's a nice little hack. Mm -hmm. And then behind here, if you want to bring the camera in, this is where I've got the Wi-Fi router. So for the mobile hotspot, it doesn't have a mounted right there. Mm -hmm. And then it just goes on a little clip, and it stays that way, and I've got... And then I can pull it out. It has like a two-hour battery on it, mm -hmm. so I can I can unplug it. But it's nice because the little plug is down over here, so I can easily plug it in the jackery. So everybody, everything kind of operates off that. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm sleeping in the back, I can open the window. I've got a window back here that is that I'm going to use as that's a, kind of my impromptu pass through. And then there's a window there, so I can reach in, grab the router, get into my cooler, everything from the back of the topper. But that's not back there, mm -hmm. so nice. it's really convenient. Yeah, that's cool. So let's go to the other side. I'll show you what I got over there. This is where Sierra sleeps. This, this so. to tried and true slide out that yeah. you've done so many videos on, and I've done this it's now. gotten a lot of attention. It's really, like this two is two years in this thing. Yeah, it only cost me like three hundred bucks to build it, and it weighs forty-two pounds. So That's it's awesome. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a drag on my engine at all. Working just the same as the first time and the last time we saw it. Well. That's another update with Brian. Apparently he's eating snakes now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got going here, man? So I've been tanning this hide. I used 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And then the uh, the other ingredient that you always want to use one-to-one -one is um, uh, glycerin. I was trying to remember it there. And so when I first put this in here, it was starting to dry out. And see, these, these, these uh, the skins can deteriorate pretty fast. But... What this does is it tans it, and this is just getting to the sixth of day, so I have one more day of tanning it in the solution. It's your Western Diamondback. Cool. Yeah, skins. So that's the pattern on it right there. So that's I'll put that awesome. in the sun. So you see it a little bit more. And then so what I'll do is I'll stretch this out on a stick, and when you roll it up on the stick, you just want to keep everything real flat, and so it stretches out and stays nice and flat. And then you uh, put it under a fan for a day and just kind of let it hang in the dark. You don't want it in the sun. And uh, apparently it turns out real good. So this is my first time doing it. And it was crazy. This snake ended up being total, I think it was about three and a half feet long once the head was removed and also. Um, Jeez. Yeah. So it was a lot of meat. I made some chili out of it, which was great. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, this goes back in here for another day. And we'll get it out tomorrow and start drying it. I coiled up and Sierra was kind of sniffing close to it and seeing like, what the heck was that? Yeah. So I coiled up to the side. I think the reason why it wasn't able to get me was that it was laying over that step and it was right in the shade there. Uh -huh. And it was already long. So when it when it arched up, it basically, whoops, it just arched up. Uh -huh. And you know, it didn't have the coil to be able to strike. Yeah. But then it coiled up and then moved sideways towards her like that. It kind of like coiled and then boom. And Sierra was coming around this way, and I was like, that thing could strike. And so that's when I grabbed it by the back of its head. I actually yeah. pinned it down with a little piece of wood and then cut it off. Dang. So, yeah. It was crazy, because it, it would have got my leg. It, where it came up and struck, I moved my leg, and if I hadn't, it would have got me on the calf. Knife yeah, I think, I think I'm going to do a knife sheath out of that. So. Yeah. Or, yeah, you can do headbands, too, but I don't have a, a hat for it. So. Yeah. I think the, um, the knife sheath is what I'm going to go with. Uh, cleaning off with the road shower. <laughs> yeah. That's literally one of the things I use the most, especially in warm weather. Yeah. yeah I, I've used it to clean off Sierra too after uh, she'll jump in like some lakes that have real stinky mud. Yeah. And it gets in the truck and it smells horrible. So I've actually used that to wash her before. Yeah. So here I've got, let me, let me sort of like this. So I've got my machete sharpener right here. So I usually carry my machete right underneath. <laughs> machete sharpener, no big deal. Yeah, I keep I sharpen that thing all the time. These flies right here are nuts. Um, and then uh, Sierra's food. So that's just right there. And then I've got my drop. That's a lot of changes, yeah, in the back. Yeah, yeah, and then this is a drop down room, so it's completely out of the way. Cool. So that drop down room is dope. I'm gonna put a wood stove in that for the winter time and I'll probably travel in that for the heat. But then all my clothes are underneath here and they're all dirty at the moment. That's why that thing is 100% yeah. more than the same thing for two days. And Laundry, it's, it's the toughest part on the road, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And Sierra sleeps here and then I have my, my showering mat underneath here. So I take this out and this is what I use for the road shower. And I just throw it down right there, and that's why I stand on so my feet don't get dirty. Awesome. The storage back down here is great. So I've got the outdoor vitals tent. This is that that two pound tent that I'm taking backpacking when you like tomorrow. I've got my backpacking uh, sleeping bag, just the Nemo, 15 degree. 
And then a bunch of other just storage back here, which is pretty awesome. The front seat real quick, I'll show you how much it opened up. Yeah, yeah, so those are the main, oh wow, yeah, look at that. So nice. it's just the backpack, and then I've got a shirt, a pair of pants, and my winter coat. That's yeah, it. so you can toss those in the back if you need yeah, mm -hmm. someone to roll with. And then like these are the water bottles I'm using now. I'm using the flexible ones. Mm -hmm. It's Smart Bottle Ink. Mm -hmm. I used to carry the big seven gallon Aquatainer. And that's great, except for when it's when it's empty, it's big and yeah. it doesn't break down. So I really yeah. like these. Yeah, they're pretty All, durable. Always getting more, more and more minimal. Yeah, and like yeah, everything's cleaner and, and less stuff. That's less cool, clutter. Man. But I have more. I'm actually carrying more stuff. It's just less clutter because yeah. of the way the storage lays out. Yeah, so. that's awesome. Yeah, and then coming back here, I haven't changed too much for the back, except for you know I did put in the 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 home theater system, which is cool. I'll show you that here in a bit. <laughs> hilarious man yeah, yeah. but for those that aren't familiar I built this two years ago um, it's a slide out extension it doesn't always stay like this I've got it on rails and then also supports down here and so this supports the weight of it a little bit the rails are underneath here here and here so I've got three places with that um, if I were to redo it I would attach the rails actually to the frame in the bed that's halfway up the side here because the Tacoma has it to where right in this area I think it's either this one or back in there. It attaches to the frame. And so you can put those those heavy like 200 pound or 100 pound sliders in there and easily slide that in and out easier than this. This is, mm -hmm. this is simple, it weighs nothing. You know, it's 42 pounds like I said, but it's been working great. I mean, I insulated the sides over here. Been putting on some cool stickers. I'm gonna take a look inside there. Nice. Um, everything is about the same. It's just, it's, it's, it's easier to function. I'll put any of my backpack or any gear right here. Now I've got different books that I read. Um, I'm currently reading 9, uh, 1491, which is an excellent book I picked up in Chaco Canyon. And then if you look at the lights here, if you go down a little bit, you'll see that I attach those BioLite sunlights, those little handheld solar lanterns, attach them to the, the, the paracord that goes over uh, where I store my clothes from those drop-down uh, shelves that I built from the screws. Mm -hmm. So th th those shelves are attached to the screws from my roof rack that come down underneath my topper. And uh, I've got all my clothes stored up there. And so it's easy to attach those BioLite sunlights to it. And then if I don't want those, the, the I use the Solar Home 620 for the for like the LED lights in there, and also for the motion sensor light off the back. Mm -hmm. And if I don't want those going because they can be a little bright, then I can put these on. And then what's nice too is they have different colors. So you you got you know you need different shades of stuff and different hues of it. And find the color that you like, and you can make a real nice ambiance in there. I mean it's it's just comfortable. It's like I'm so used to it now and it's so minimal that I, I, I don't, I mean, I can sit up fully in there even though it's, even though it's a tight fit, you know, I'm not doing jumping jacks or anything like that, but I can sit <laughs> up fully and, and, and then I, if it's cold out, I'll make that pass through because the, there's a window back here that opens up and it lines up with the other one I have in the, on the Tacoma and I'll just put a towel around it, just jam it in there. Works great. Uh, turn on the heater, you know, to get a remote starter, turn on the heater and, and, and when you go to bed, you, you keep like all of your you know your your uh, heat turned all the way up if it's cold out you turn it on then you just turn it back off when your when your thing heats up it's great mm -hmm. and it's so small like with me and Sierra in there we don't really get cold it was negative three when I left Crested Butte and we were truck camping in here and we were fine so yeah as far as insulation I mean you've probably got it better than even like a pop-up truck camper with vinyl and things like that and it's such yeah. a small space like you said yep that makes great. it easy so what I want to do is I want to show you guys how I set up that home theater like oh cool I set it up and then actually um play something for you so what we'll do is what i'm doing right now before i get uh the screen i'm gonna have a screen that's attached here that just flips down it's gonna attach on the on the inside of the the slide out here so it'll flip down and be basically this entire side right here but i project the movie coming in from the cab and so i'll, I'll put the the projector in there and then shoot this way and I can even do it during the day because I have the reflectix, so I can I can block off the windows and make it real dark in there, <laughs> and then watch watch videos. And then like like I, I was watching them at the Faywood Hot Springs, and I, was, I had headphones on, so I wasn't being obnoxious with noise. And uh, I was jamming and watching Hacksaw Ridge back in there. So awesome, I've got Fight man. Club for now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set nice. it up and then we'll we'll cut to that. Some all snap. All snap. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, I love doing this shit. This is so much fun. <laughs> uh, wow, what a cool little cave you have. Yeah, dude, it's totally a man cave in here. Looks awesome. And it's nice too because I got have, have a little uh, fan I can put in here so it gets nice and cool. Yeah. So yeah, oh, I just man. take the screen and put it up here. Here's a sheet. So yeah, I'll get it all put in there and 
I can. I even got a spot to watch from right here. <laughs> Look, I just plug it in there. Plug it into my computer. Turn on this. What? Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Wow. Not bad, man. Yep. Oh, cool. we just got your password. Well, yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious, man. Yep. I don't, I don't, I need a projector now. Have you been through any, like a couple of them or you just no, this, this one? this is one. What's this brand? Yeah, uh, it's a Brookstone DLP. Cool. And then, I, and then I use a head, I use headphones. So like, this is my, I'm in a truck topper. <laughs> five foot bed in a Tacoma. 2005 Tacoma, I'm watching Fight Club. In a, like a really like, like people in houses would pay to be this comfortable yeah. and cozy. I mean, it's like, like I, you're in a little cozy capsule. Like, yeah, it's like I'll, I'll put up all the, so cool. all the all the little pillows right here and just lay back and watch this. I'm lounging right now. I mean, even I think this is cool. Like having a little bit bigger of a camper. Like I even I can see like oh how cozy and comfy that would be. Yeah, um, I just come in here and turn the lights on if I need to go outside and yeah check out stuff. And then I just take this down and it just goes down like that and I'm good. Boom. And then I turn it off. Oh wow. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. What's up world? <laughs> See you later. Oh my gosh. See you man. Great doing videos with you. He's going on a hike. Well, thanks so much for watching. Be yeah. sure to subscribe to Colorado Backcountry Adventures so you don't miss any of Brian's adventures in the rig. Make sure you subscribe here. And the question always is, are you down, down to, to mob? mob? Woo! <laughs> See you. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs>